What's up guys? How's it going? It is Matt here. So this is going to be my part two video on the Blackhawk Arc inside the waistband holster. That's the appendix reverse carry holster, which means you can carry it right side or left side. You can adjust it. All right. So this one is specifically designed for my Smith & Wesson M&P full size pistol. All right. It can be used for compact too, but it's for full size and compact. All right. So the week started out with me carrying this holster exactly what it's designed to be carried for, which is appendix carry, all right? It's the appendix reverse carry holster, all right? So, and you know, I'm not a huge fan of appendix carry when it comes to a full-size pistol. If I'm using like my backup, hold on, let me get out for it. If I'm using like my backup, my revolver, then I will carry that appendix. Like right now it's a backup, it's actually in my pocket, but if I'm carrying that as a primary, it's usually going to be appendix with two speed loaders on me. And I have no problem with that because it's a lot smaller than, well, this, if you can't tell the difference. Yeah, it's a lot easier to carry this guy than it is this guy when it comes to appendix carry. So this is loaded, I'm not going to be messing around with it, that one's loaded too, the gun's not a gun unless it's loaded, right? So, but anyway, so here are my impressions on it, guys. So, for the last seven days, um, five nights out of the seven nights, I have been dry fire practicing nonstop. I was actually hoping to go to the range today, but some stuff came up and I haven't been able to. But, so for the last five, or five out of seven days, I have been 30 minutes a night dry fire practicing, which for me consists of starting out with simply drawing and presenting it all right it just starts out with that and it's kind of like the warm-up prior to the workout you know i start up with uh, drawing and then i move on to more advanced stuff all right so but anyway so every single night 30 minutes a night i've been testing out this holster feeling it drawing from it every single day i've been carrying this pistol on me in this holster every single day it's been on me so i'll start out with a conclusion guys it's a good holster. No, it's it, you can't go wrong with it, guys. It's for the for a twenty dollar holster. It's freaking awesome. It's it's right on, guys. It's exactly what you need to do. So I'm just gonna get into a couple things with it. All right. So let me pull it off my belt here. So here it is. Like I said, it's the appendix reverse carry. So as I showed in my last video, you can flop flip it on both sides. All right. This can adjust to your body. You can can't to it. It's a liquid injected pol or plastic. So it's not like a rigid uh, Kydex. So it's actually very comfortable and it's very freaking lightweight. I mean, this is one of the lightest holsters I've ever had and I love it. That's, another, that's a big thumbs up. So the biggest fear that I had when I first got this holster was this part right here. The biggest complaint I had was right here. I don't like clips. I like loops. All right, I've always liked loops because I've had issues in the past with bad holsters or not, so, not such bad holsters, but just with clips where you pull the pistol out and the entire holster comes out with it, you're like, oh man, <laughs> and there you go. This one, you know, out of five days straight of dry fire practice, not once did this come off my belt, all right? For my belt, for some reason, it just works, all right? It just, it's great. It's got a very good clip on it, all right? You know, it's kind of plastic. A lot of people complain about that, but I didn't have any issues with moving on me, but let me, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate it audibly. How's this one? Ready? So, we put it on, just listen, you'll hear. Putting it on, and it clicks, all right? It clicks on my holster. It does not come off. You know, I'm, I'm pretty good with the draw. I have been practicing my draw for years since I was in the Marine Corps. I've been practicing my draw for a year. I drive fire practice daily. I do it at the range if I can get to a range that does it. And that's at one range that's about an hour away. That's the only range I can actually pull from the holster and do it. So I've been practicing this for a long time. And what I've learned about this holster is it just exceeds what I expected it to do, guys. It was just a great overall holster. So at first I carried an appendix, all right, just like it's designed to do appendix, all right, carry holster, appendix reverse carry holster. But it's a full-size pistol and with one 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 of my pet peeves with uh older model M and P is just get this little beaver tail on it. You know it's it's great for shooting but not so great for carrying, especially if you're trying to carry appendix. You know, don't get me wrong, a full size pistol appendix conceals better than it was strong side or three o'clock or nine o'clock. Well, depending on your body type. For me, it, it conceals very well up front, but it's also very, very uncomfortable up front. So I think it was Friday night, I believe, is when I switched it over to my strong side. 
But anyway, so I did a lot of different drills with this presentation drills. I carried it every day. I was outside playing with my kids. I was going doing groceries, filling up my wife's gas tank because she decided to not fill it up the day before. Always. But anyway, so I've literally been carrying this nonstop. So anyway, let me show you some of the footage of this week. All right, so here it is. So carrying my Smith & Wesson M&P40 appendix has been very, very uncomfortable. I mean, even, you know, it's a good quality holster. It sticks under your belt. It locks under your belt really good. But for the most part, it is still just so uncomfortable to carry a full-size pistol appendix. So what I did today is I swapped and I put it on strong side. So now I'm doing a little test to see how the holster works strong side, which is my usual way of carrying a semi-automatic pistol. So uh, I'm going to do some dry fire training tonight. So we'll see how that goes. But so far I put it strong side a lot more comfortable. And one thing that's nice about this holster is it clips to the belt so well. Like to my belt, it just clips to it so well. I tested out my belt different levels of tightness. No matter how I put it on my waist, it just stays. All right. It doesn't move. It just stays. No matter how I draw it, it just stays. So anyway, I'm about to get to uh, my nightly uh, dry fire practice with the uh, Blackhawk Arc Holster. Now it's strong side, which is my most common method for carrying my semi-automatic pistol. So tonight I'm actually going to be do doing some shooting and movement drills. I probably may be like pieing some corners and stuff like that um, using the uh, Groucho, which is the uh, combat stance. I actually do a whole video about that some other time about uh, combat stance and shooting and moving. But that's what I'm going to be working on tonight. So. Here it is.
there you have it guys you know I am now carrying it strong side uh, and you know what guys I I think it was a great holster it's just a great holster you know one of the best things that I can pull from this holster from what I can bring to you guys this holster besides the price point it's a twenty dollar holster you know is one of the great things that I learned through the dry fire practice is because of this cut, like I said in my first video, it's designed for so you could have like uh, optics on it, whether it's a hollow scope or whatever you use, or aim points or whatever the hell you use on your pistols. So I'm not into that thing. I like sights; they work good for me. But anyway, what's great about it is because it's low cut and the angle of it. Now, if you guys go watch my video uh, drawing from concealment, you'll know what I mean. Step two of the draw, you know, step one is you clear it from the holster. Step two is you turn your elbow down and you point it at the bad guy, especially if someone's charging you, it's good to be able to engage them from this point right here and you could put a couple rounds on target and then come back up and follow through. But what I learned from this cut and how lightweight and just the way how this ulcer is, my draw improved, all right? And that wasn't just because of the practice, that was because the pistol just had so much clearance with it. Hold on, I gotta clip it on there. It, it, it fights, but it gets on the belt and it, it stays. But from the clearance of the pistol, guys, I'm telling you, it's awesome, guys. When you're pulling it, my draw was sped up, and it just felt good. It felt comfortable to draw it from the holster. And you know what, guys? It does the job. It absolutely does the job. It's got great retention. It doesn't go anywhere when it's on the belt. It's lightweight. It's very comfortable. You know what, guys? And I will highly recommend it. You know, I'm carrying it strong side right now, and that's probably where I'll carry it if I'm going to be carrying this pistol again. But I'm telling you, guys. If you are looking in the market for a holster, I know this holster is only designed for a few uh, pistol brands. I think it's MP, I think Glock, I forgot, and uh, J Pring Revolver. I don't know if there's any more in it. But if you have one of those models and you're looking for a good quality holster that you won't break the bank with, Blackhawk's the way to go, guys. So, Blackhawk Arc, if you want it, you got the pistol for it, get it, guys. I'm telling you, it's awesome, awesome holster. You won't regret it. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about me, guys, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other and carry your damn gun.